Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The sand eel special is a fairly straightforward saltwater fly pattern intended to imitate a sand lance, commonly known as a sand eel. Sand eels are an extremely important source for a wide range of marine species, including striped bass, bluefish, and false albacore. The sand eel special starts with a size 6 heavy duty hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise, load a bobbin with a spool of white unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank, leaving a full eye length space behind the back edge of the hook eye. After taking a dozen or so rearward wraps, snip off the excess tag. Tease up about a square inch of the white craft fur and snip it off close to the fabric backing. While holding the clump at its midpoint, strip out the shorter under fur from the butt ends. Get hold of the clump by the butt ends and snip them off even and square. Place the butt ends on top of the hook shank above your tying thread and take three or four fairly loose wraps to lightly anchor them there. Push down on the material with your thumbnail to force it equally over either side of the hook shank. Then take tight wraps of tying thread to really lock it in place. Snip three or four strands of silver flashaboo free from the hank and find their midpoint. Place the midpoint on top of the hook shank above your tying thread and take a few wraps to anchor it. Then pull the forward pointing portion back and take rearward thread wraps to pin it back over top of the white craft fur. Now snip a one inch clump of the chartreuse craft fur free from the backing and clean the shorter under fur from its butt ends as well. This time however measure to ensure that it's going to be the same length as the white craft fur and while keeping that measurement, trim those butt ends off square. Anchor the ends to the top of the hook shank with nice tight wraps of tying thread. Although not essential, it's a good idea to apply an ample drop of super glue, here fly tire Z-Men, to the exposed thread wraps, then take wraps of tying thread through the adhesive to set it. End with your tying thread on the bare hook shank immediately in front of the butt ends of the craft fur. Get hold of your whip finish tool and use it to do a three or four turn back to front whip finish. Seat the knot really well and snip your tying thread free. Pick up the coil of pearl mylar tubing and measure out a segment just slightly longer than the full hook. Snip the segment off, then pull out and discard the tubing's cotton core. Slip the tubing around the hook shank. It should extend rearward of the hook bend. Leaving the tubing on the fly, once again pick up your tying thread. While pulling the tubing rearward, get the thread established on the hook shank behind the eye. After a few more rearward wraps, snip the excess tag off close. Push the tubing out over the hook eye and start taking thread wraps behind the eye to bind it down. The frayed rear portion of the tubing should extend a short distance back from the hook bend. This part can be a little fussy, but do your best to trim away the frayed mylar up by the hook eye. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure the eye is clear. You can then pick up your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. Squeeze the body of the fly behind the eye to flatten its sides just a bit. Place a small amount of gel super glue onto a scrap piece of paper. Using a bodkin, pick up a tiny amount of the adhesive and apply it to the tubing behind the thread wraps on the near side of the fly. Repeat the same procedure on the far side of the fly. Pick up one of the 3D eyes with the tip of a bodkin or a hobby knife and lay it on top of the adhesive on the near side of the fly. Just a little pressure should help to set the adhesive. With the one eye set, repeat the same procedure on the far side of the fly so the eyes are mirror images of each other. Here, you can use fast drying clear nail polish or clear UV resin if you prefer to coat the body of the fly from the start of the bend all the way up to the eye. 
With nail polish, you may find it easier to do two or three thin coats, allowing them to dry in between, as opposed to one big thick coat. And that's the Sandio Special. In saltwater, it's hard to go wrong with chartreuse and white, along with a little bit of flash.